Greetings everyone. I hope you're well in Christ Jesus. My name is Evangelist Joshua Saz from Be Open Ministries. And uh, I pray you're keeping well, given everything that's going on around the world. Remember, God is still good. Even if your circumstances are not good, even if everything seems to be lost, even if your ideal life is coming down and it's not working out the way you want it to, God is still good. God does not change. He, he has no beginning and has no end. And what he did in the past, he can do in the present and future. So keep trusting in him. Today, the Lord God Almighty sent me with a teaching about grace. I know it's a very confusing uh, subject and, and many people uh, don't understand it. They, 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 they say maybe uh, it's a teaching that helps people to, to continue in their sin. And the grace of God will cover them. Oh, it, it's just there freely for you to, 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 to take it and nothing is going to happen to you if, if you don't take it or you take it. Uh, it's, a, it's a bit confusing for, for some people, but as you lean to the Lord, as you lean to the word uh, and, and the Holy Spirit, he'll interpret this word for you. So um, I'm going to read the scripture reading, which comes from the book of Romans chapter 3 and verse 24, which says, this is just part of it. And are justified by his grace as a gift through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. So what is grace? Grace is getting what you don't deserve. You know, me and you deserve to go to hell forever through the sin of Adam. You know, when Adam fell into sin, we are his seed. You're born in sin. Just like us. you don't need to teach a child to lie. It's, it's because it's in their DNA. And, and gradually, people continue to live uh, like the flesh wants. And we are condemned through the sin of Adam, Adam. But the Lord God Almighty had a plan. And he sent Christ Jesus to die for us. So that we can receive this free gift of grace. Which, like we read, is found through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. It's not through anything else. It's not through Allah or Buddha or any other God. Or through money that, that you pay a pastor for to, to pray for you so that you can receive this grace. It's free. You can receive it in your car, in your house, in the fields, at work, in the bathroom. You can receive this free grace if you accept Christ. The Lord asked me to tell you this. Tell my people that I'm the one who redeems through grace. I grant grace to enable you to continually and perpetually overcome sin. But I remember I'm your Redeemer. That's what the Lord God Almighty says. And, and this is a true gift. Grace is not a license to sin. Grace enables you and I to overcome sin. To walk in the ways of the Lord. When you confess with your mouth that Christ is King, you repent of your sins and turn away from them. That's what repentance means. It doesn't mean you, you, you renounce sin and then you continue. After that, no, you, you, you seek the infilling of the Holy Spirit. And, and you know, like, like, like I say, just as fish cannot survive in the air, so we cannot walk in the ways of God without the Holy Spirit. It's the Holy Spirit that enables us to see the ways of God, to stay in the ways of God. Yes, we fall into sin, but it's the Holy Spirit in us that guides us and tells us this is wrong, repent. And tells us don't do this and overcome and you perpetually conquer sin. And it is the Holy Spirit that enables us to do that. So God grants you the grace. He says I'll enable you to overcome sin. Titus 2 verse 11 to 14 says. Verse 11 starts. For the grace of God has appeared. Bringing salvation for all people. Hallelujah. Training us to renounce ungodliness and worldly passions. See what grace does? It enables us. First of all, it trains us to renounce ungodliness and worldly passions. What are these ungodliness? Those are the sins that are uh, detailed in Galatians 5. You can go and read that. It talks about the fruits of the flesh, which is adultery, drunkenness lasciviousness, strife, enmity, and the like. You, you, you'll see all that. You'll renounce that because the grace of God and trains us to renounce that. And while the pa passions, you know, the things that are not of God, I'm not saying if you're passionate about golf or, or, or whatever else or building or, or 
or singing it, it, it's wrong as long as it's it's done within um, whatever the, the the word of God allows and to live self-controlled lives grace enables us to live self-controlled lives you're not given up to rage or alcoholism or drug use or whatever it is that, that that eats you up everyone has their own struggles and to live upright and godly lives in the present age hallelujah waiting for our blessed hope the appearing of the glory of our great god and savior jesus christ hallelujah who gave himself for us to redeem us from all lawlessness and to purify for himself a people for his own possession hallelujah you are being purified gradually for his own possession who are zealous for good works hallelujah i tell you what if you live an unholy life you'll never see god you're going straight to hell no it's hard to hear this in this politically correct society people don't want to be told such things about hell they want to be told god wants you to be happy smiley rich and that's all but i'm telling you without holiness you shall not see god and i'm not saying you'll be 100 percent perfect but there's a difference between living in sin and fighting against sin so if you've received the grace of god you'll be fighting against sin until the day you die and that shows really that you have the holy spirit but if you're living in sin in the name of sin, oh it's the grace of god oh i'm not perfect all these excuses you shall not see god so folks i hope you're on the right side you know and remember grace is a free gift but it must be received just like someone would sit there and give you a nice car your dream car you'll have to go and receive it and say yes give me this car and he'll give you the keys and you'll drive away happy the grace of god is free but you have to receive it how do you receive it by confessing your sins accepting that christ is lord over your life and asking the holy spirit to come and take control over your life it is not you who lives anymore but christ in you you submit to that and You'll be able to receive the grace of God, which will, number one, just to recap, to train you to renounce ungodliness. It will train you to renounce worldly passions and to live a self-controlled, upright and godly life. That's what the grace of God does. Hallelujah. And you know, I repeat by saying grace is not a license to sin. On the contrary, grace enables us to perpetually conquer sin. And in closing, I'll, I'll read the book of Galatians 5 verse 18, which says, But if you are led by the Spirit, you're not under the law. Hallelujah. If the Holy Spirit guides you, which is the grace of God, comes through the Spirit, then you're not under the law of God. You know, Christ said he did not come to, uh, to abolish the law of the prophets, but to fulfill it. And that proves that the grace of God enables you to fulfill his law. Not 100% perfectly all the time, but gradually until the day of sanctification or justification or glorification when Christ will come back. That's when you'll be 100% perfect. But if you are not led by the Spirit, meaning you do not have the grace of God, then you're under the law. The Lord God Almighty will use his law to judge you because you receive, you refuse to receive the free gift of grace. I know it can still be complicated. We'll keep talking about it. But just remember this. The grace of God is here. And one day it will not be here. With the way things are going in this life. With, with the coming of Christ fast approaching. At some point it will not be there. So it's up to you to decide. To receive Jesus Christ as the Lord over your life. And he will enable you to do that which is right. And to perpetually conquer sin. And one day we'll live with him forever. Folks, if you have any questions, comments, if you like prayer, contact us. We'll be happy to pray with you. And until next time, this is Evangelist Joshua Saz from Be Open Ministries Australia. Shalom.